Hi there Capricorns, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at December 8th through December 14. The big news of the week for you is that Venus, the goddess of love and pleasure, relationships, social activities, moves into your sign this week. And it's going to be really nice for you. It's like the, the entrance of the goddess into your sign. It's like having Angelina and come and have a cup of tea with you, Angelina Jolie or someone like that, a goddess type creature, Sophia Vergara, someone that you, that, you know, comes and sits and talks fashion and, you know, all those wonderful things with you. So Venus is moving into your sign for a month, which makes it the perfect time for that makeover that, that you may want or may not have even considered, but now I'm telling you. With the holiday season coming up and, you know, undoubtedly you've got places to be and you're going to be seen by a lot of people you may not have seen in a while, it's always good to look fresh and to look as if you've tried. I think that sometimes people give up in a way and just wear the same thing and wear their hair the same way and the same makeup and no accessories and I live in Los Angeles so I hate to say it but it's a very vain place to live because people are very fashion oriented and there's the hipsters and there's lots of models and actors so you really get to see you know how people who really know how to dress up and do it up but and not be uh, too glamorous but look fabulous anyway in jeans and a leather jacket and all that sort of stuff so all I'm saying is that Venus is the perfect time for you to go get a new haircut or to do something different with your makeup or to get your hair colored or you know throw in a couple of really colorful items into your wardrobe and experiment a little bit. Venus gives you the urge to do that anyway and makes it fun for you to experiment and makes it fun for you to try new things. So why not you know, go along with it and allow her to do that. Another thing that's happening is that Jupiter, which is the biggest planet in the zodiac and which rules Sagittarius, is going out of phase in Leo for four months. It's going to be offline through April of 2015. And it's going to be offline in your eighth house of joint resources and investments and how you you know, see money and how you make sure that any money you have invested with anybody else is secure and is something that you feel is going well. And if it's not, Jupiter retrograde will definitely have you rethinking your decision or you may decide to go into business with someone that you passed on from doing that recently and realize it's not such a bad idea after all. Have a great week, great speaking to you and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.